I don't need anybody reading me in the comments. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be making this top from Instagram. This top is from the brand Badergan. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> um, I'll link the original top in the description if you want to check it out but I want to try to make it for myself so let's get started. First thing I did was copy one of my shirts as reference. This shirt fits me very well but it doesn't fit me too tight which is perfect for the shirt we're making. So let's start by tracing it on some paper. So for anyone wondering what type of paper this is and where I got it, um, this paper is actually meat packing paper, like paper for like wrapping up meat in like a butcher or something. I don't know where or when or why we had this paper, but for some reason we had it in our garage. I decided to use it. Whatever. Um, judge me. <laughs>
I did is create a copy of the front. Then on that fr first front pattern, I drew a line that is 3 inches down from the neckline. Then I took that point and extended it and tried to connect it down to the side seam of the front. I decided to do it underneath the armpit, which is about 1 inch under the armhole. So on the other front, I decided to draw a line that was 5 inches down from the top. This is what's going to de determine how big that cutout is going to be. It was 5 inches originally, but then I decided to make it 4 inches because I wasn't ready to show that much chest to the world. So um, proceed with caution. And then I finished off both of them by giving them both a quarter inch of seam allowance. Now to the fabric. I decided to use this white knit ribbed fabric that I got from Joann's. I'll definitely link it in the description. I do recommend trying to get a tighter knit or maybe a thinner knit because this shirt description is supposed to be like tighter and this is definitely a little bit thicker of a knit so be wary if you're going to get this one. Also from this point on, I'm going to refer to both of the cutout pieces as upper and the lower lip, just because I don't really know what else to call them. <laughs> First thing I did was create a bias tape that's about one half thick and decided to bias tape both the upper and the lower lips.
Then what I'm going to do is baste or pin the upper lip on top of the lower lip. That's what's going to give you that overlay effect. Then I just sewed it like how you sew any other garment. First I do the shoulder and the side seams. Then I connect the sleeve sides, right sides together. And then I connect the sleeve to the armhole. And this is where I want to make sure that everything is fitting together nicely and nothing's going to pull on each other or sag. And now for the neckline. So for this part guys, I'm going to link in the description where I learned how to do the neckline because I'm still not good at it and I'm actually really bad at explaining it. So yeah, sorry about that.
And now finally to hem down the edges. So for all of my edges, I just zigzag stitch them down. And then folded them once about an inch and then sewed that down.